Uh, guys, welcome to another video. So, um, I've got one here by the way, so that's why uh, it's a bit empty. Okay, so today I'm just going to give you a little bit of update on my transfers. Okay, so this is Angel, this is my Acasis Concaria Conchicolata. Sorry, I can't say that one. This is Giant Whitney. She's about six centimeters right now, six, seven centimeters. Hopefully should be going into Primark soon. But it's doing quite well. Nice fat abdomen. Breathing quite well. I'll need to get that cricket leg out. This is her enclosure. Little rug box. You can see how small she is. So she's still got plenty of room. Maybe about another one or two malts. If I'm lucky. Cool. Let's move on to the next one. And here is Willow. She is my G Portery. Or G Portere. There we go, that's a bit better. She's doing well. I think she's about five inches by now. But she hasn't fed in a while and she's been a bit sluggish. So I'm hoping, just hoping, fingers crossed, uh, she is in primo. I'm hoping. So that'll be another interesting one. I look forward to that. And in there, she's a little bit sketchy today. This is my Nandu Chromatis, the uh, white striped bird eater. This is uh, Evira. She's doing quite well, she's breeding quite well, uh, which I'm, I'm happy about. She had a DBRH just under a week ago. But she's a lovely specimen. I'm keeping this lid off because, uh, this lid on, sorry, because she's extra bolty today. <laughs> so I don't really fancy uh, chasing the tea across the room, to be quite honest with you. Cool, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is another one of my favourites. This is the Sienna Palma Sienna Cubic Abessence, the green pot blue. So this is the one that was recently molted, uh, just about a couple of weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. But really quite placid for a, a fast moving species. I mean, not handleable pl uh, placid, but very good eater, don't get me wrong. But a lovely, lovely specimen, so less. One of my favourites. So another one that I hope is in primo is my uh, Burposa Sturmy. This is the Garnagalaya Bird Eater. And at the minute she's only about roughly 3 to 4 centimetres. So obviously uh, when these guys are born at, I think they're about 2 centimetres anyway. Um, but this one I cannot wait to grow up. I mean I've already got a tank ready. Um, let's see my bit. So I've got a big, big red box for her when she grows up. But lovely, lovely specimen right there. Another one of my favourites. And this is my Lassadoria Pahabana. This is the Simon Pimp Birdie. Oh, this one is Luna. And obviously they get quite big in their cells uh, when they grow up. I think I had one measured once uh, about 10 inches, I think it was. But this one's only... I would say seven to eight centimeters, I believe. But another one that's going to be absolutely gorgeous once it grows up. Another species I'm going to keep the lid on today because I don't fancy a run around the bedroom. But I'm um, chasing the tea, as you can see, quite skittish. This is the Daphrius pentalorus, um, which is used to be known as the um, bleh, no, Costa Rican tiger rump, the Sokostone fasciatum, that's right. Um, but this is the Mexican tiger rump, I believe now. I don't know if they changed names, I'm not really quite sure. But another beautiful species. Okay, so all that's left now is the babies. Okay, so this one is a 0.5 centimeters length. If you can see it way down there, can't really focus on it that well. I forgot the first scientific name, but this is Capron apiece. Uh, as I said, we've got the first scientific name. This is a Pygmy Firelake Tarantula. Very, very small in a minute, but will grow up very, very pretty. And down there is the Nandu Colorado Velosus. So this will be the Brazilian Black and White. I haven't named this one yet, as it's only saw, it's still a one centimeter sling. Okay, and this one is the Bacta Palma Hamari. 
which used to be known as the Brachypelma smithy. This is the Mexican red knee tarantula, and I'm hoping it's going to melt soon. These are for our, uh, slow grown species, sorry. So it's going to take her a while to get to adult size, but one of the less I wanted in my collection. Okay, I oh got well, no, it's gone blurry. So down there is the Brachypelma apiceps, the Mexican gold red rump. This is also a one centimeter sling, and uh, I'm hoping it's going to grow up quite fast. So this species will have a black body and a nice yellowy carapace, which will be absolutely like a yellowy gold, but it will be absolutely amazing. Another one I can't wait to grow up. Okay, obviously these ones are bolted too. So for the last two, I am going to keep the lids on. So this one is a Ephicularia basicala. I don't know whether I want to take the chance and open the tank but I don't really want it to bolt because I know what this species is like yeah and there she goes that's what I thought <laughs> okay so let's see if we can get some good light in there there she goes there she is so this is the Epicolari Fasicolor the Matronique Pink Toe so this one is only a two centimeter thing right now, as you can see like that. But another beautiful one. I, I love my Avix. Um, when I started, I actually started my tea collection. I started off with um, oh, I forgot what it was. I think it was a Singapore blue tarantula. For my first tarantula, bear in mind. I think it was something like that. And um, the Epicularia Epicularia, the, um, the Metallica one. Uh, so, yeah, I absolutely love my pink toes. But these are very fast. And uh, to be quite honest, I learned that the hard way unpacking them. So I'll move on to my last Avic, which I am obviously going to keep the lid on for because she is mental and she is fast. Okay, so my last one is the Ecuador purple pink toe this is the Epicularia proving something like that oh, 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 uh, Proofaria Peruvian Peruvia something like that but this is not doing it justice as you can see it's really fluffy now it's going out of focus so this is about two centimeters sling and she is <laughs> she's crazy quick I mean she's unbelievably crazy quick but nonetheless another of one of my favorites but yeah all right let's put it back up there yeah. so that is my transfer collection and that's all oh, how they're doing they're all doing quite well um I've only had one box so far we just put like a little encrypted case right up there. So I count at 13 altogether. But I'm hoping Willow's going to molt soon. And I hope a few more other ones are going to molt as well. So there's just empty tanks up there which are going to be filled with probably the Chromatis and the Conjugulata and a few other ones at some point once they get a bit older. But um, I like to get them beforehand so I'm ready and I'm prepared so yeah that's uh, basically all my tea for today guys so next I think Saturday I will be feeding uh, doing feeding video number four so keep tuned for that love you all guys and I'll see you in the next one